All right. Uh... Dark Water. It's like Pirates of Dark Water. That's why I keep going back. Do you remember Pirates of Dark Water? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Peter Pan, the cartoon. Tim Curry was Dr. Dr. Hook. Doctor? He went to college. <laughs> he spent all those years in doctor school to be called Captain. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Couch Potatoes? We are back for some more spooky season. And due to popular demand in the comments of the last video where we talked about all of the movies we're going to watch, everyone said, don't watch the crappy American version of Dark Water. You guys go go back and watch the original Japanese version from 2002. That's what we did. Hideo Nakata. We switched it up and we went back to that one because so many people had such bad things to say about the U.S. version. Now, look. This one's starting off on the wrong foot because you took away Jennifer Connelly, which was an automatic win for me. But I will say, I feel like Japan and, and which Korea is it? South Korea, North Korea? South. South Korea. <laughs> it, it, they kick the pants off of American horror because they don't have the MPAA telling them, yeah, you can't do this or else it's got to be X-rated. They're like, we're just going to make it scary because that's what horror movies are supposed to be. So this was your first pick, even though we did change up the version. Do you feel satisfied with uh, what we thought was going to be evil laundry? Yeah, and obviously I saw the American trailer, so there there are some things I took away that maybe I heard it was were like a shot for shot remake almost. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that were changed though, so that that was interesting. Um, I was really happy with where it went. Not what I thought. Not what I thought was going to happen. It's very but I'm really slow happy burn. When it went. Very yeah. slow burn horror yeah. is what I I would call it, and it makes you really understand what this lady's going through with trying to be a single mom, trying to maintain custody, trying to get her life on track, trying to be there for her daughter, but still have a career and things like that. I think you said that you felt like the moral of the story was don't have a job, moms. Yeah, where most horror is like, don't have premarital sex. Yeah. <laughs> You'll die. Now it's don't have a career outside the home, moms. Your kid will die. So I made me go back to think about, this is obviously the author that wrote The Ring. And so mm-hmm. I was like, okay, well, I love the Ringu, Ring, Ringu, Ringu. That, that's what actually is yes. actually called in yes. Japan was Ringu. Uh, I, I love that trilogy, and I love the American version of the Ring. And so I was like, okay, well, this is going to be this is the same director. The American version. This of the is the same director I think that did Ringu. So I was very excited to see how it worked out. But I think it was because last year uh, the host might have been right up there with our favorites of the whole year. It was so such a good movie. We are not one of those people who are like, oh, it's got to be America can't handle subtitles. Like, look, I'm a reader. I don't care. We've got kids. We, my, she can't watch anything without subtitles I on. Can't. So that doesn't bother us at all. And it didn't take anything away from the movie. But what I'll say is it took a long time to get there. But I felt like the payoff was worth it. It, it was pretty pretty dang good and uh I, I i don't know if if i had the water leaking out of my ceiling and i went and told them and they're like oh, i'm gonna record an alarm i know like, you're gonna get your ass up there and fix it right now or i'm gonna shriek and wail and i'm gonna call the news and get them to come out here and be like what the fuck <laughs> you know so maybe that's just my my theory what do you think yeah about that this? was um i don't know maybe it just kind of speaks to the character of that mom her just kind of deferring or being a little bit of a pushover. Being a little, yeah, of a pushover, meek or mild, and she's having the lawyer come in later and kind of take charge. And I'm like, girl, well, this I think is your she life. was hanging on by a thread. I mean, yeah. you saw the part where she does finally snap and she almost attacks her husband, her ex-husband, right? And it's just like she's just she's clearly barely, overwhelmed with other stuff too. Yeah. yeah, and so you add something like this, you know, a haunting of some sort. You might feel like it's a little. A little, uh, a bit frenetic, but I, I got to give you credit. You figured out the mystery before I did. I had no idea. I did not suspect the whole cistern thing uh, or whatever. I mean, I thought it was obviously the purse. I knew that this was obviously this dead girl's purse. And big kept props to that mom. I know a lot of cultures are a little more invested in superstition than maybe America is, mm-hmm. but she's like, we don't take it. We don't be claiming other people's yeah. stuff. Like, <laughs> she wanted to keep those toys, and she's keep, like, nope. Keep nope. your hair clippings, burn your hair clippings, keep your teeth. Oh, like, I'm, I'm big props to that mom. I wanted to vomit where they're getting a glass of drinking water and the strands oh. of hair come out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was messed up. But uh, so you figuring out the ending, I don't. I still don't feel like that ruined anything, though. No. You actually solving that, like where she's uh, actually going up the, the ladder and you see like the, the bangs, just as knocking before the bangs, just the knocking. Yeah, oh, that was that's very disturbing. Very creepy, very, very um, creepy. No, and, and I kind of realized maybe halfway or a third way through, this is not the kind of horror, like, haunting. This is a murder mystery. So not a horror movie per se, but, no, it definitely gets pretty scary Well, we'll say when we get to that part, I I mean, 
I'm not going to lie. I feel like the ending of this or just kind of like the third act really can be interpreted several different ways, yes. you know, because I don't feel yes. like it gives a definitive answer on what exactly does happen here. So I've got to say, uh, when you fight, because the whole movie, her face is like blurred out. Like she actually oh. thought, does this girl have no face? Is she yeah. like deformed or something like that? So I think it was just a oh, no, creative I didn't decision. Think it, I thought it was just... Oh, because I thought they showed that one her. poster, and it's just like they didn't really show her face. So obviously, I feel like but that, was that on one purpose. poster was what three years old, so it was supposed so to be. So kind of... when you finally do see her face in the uh, in the in elevator scene, which is <laughs> when I realize when her daughter she's looking down at the, the girl comes out, and her daughter is the one that's in the hall. I'm like, oh my gosh, she yeah. carried the wrong kid out. Got the wrong kid in the elevator, and, and I was like, in the elevator. This made me think of Junji Ito, who wrote the uh, the manga uh, Spiral. Uzumaki and I was just like that's his stuff where it's like you as a reader realize it and you're just slowly panning down to oh, what yeah. you're gonna you just know you're yeah. like oh god no don't show me it really felt like that and it was good and then she turns around and she's like Tootsie Roll scary baby oh my god yeah it was, mama yeah yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, so that got a, that got a little bit of a shiver. Uh, yeah, there was to... definitely a, a switch there where I thought especially with the red purse re- reoccurring and reoccurring again. I thought she was looking for a friend. She's mm. lonely. She and was looking for a mom, apparently. She wanted her mama. Yeah. So uh, when, uh, when what was her, Iku-chan? Was that her name? iku So when she's actually grown up and you do the 10-year flash forward and she goes back and visits, I think it's very clear to both of us. Uh, yeah, she hasn't been living in this condemned building for 10 years. She's right. Obviously, some kind of supernatural prisoner or something mm-hmm. like that, because she does say like, you know, we can't see each other again, or we can't, we can't be together ever yeah. again. And obviously, I feel like we get that, but I, I don't know. I, 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 I just feel like there's so many unanswered questions, but in a way, the good way. Well, you're still talking about, you're still thinking about it days later, and I, I don't know. I, she really just think that's it that she didn't want a friend; she wanted a mother. Yes. Because like, you know, so was the whole was this like a circular thing where like. Her mother didn't show up that day, and that's why she walked and was playing around the roof and fell on the cistern. That's that that that's the whole thing. So she just wanted a mom to take care of her. So yeah, and okay. she I guess sees or senses this mom is taking care of her kid and they're playing together. And because there's definitely some anger coming out of that cistern. I blame you. You weren't there for me. Why was I by myself? Mm-hmm. At least that's how I interpreted those punches through the metal. Yeah, so uh, all I'll say is uh, yeah, I would never drink tap water ever again. I mean, <laughs> ever again. We already do the, don't we have the drinking water? Yeah. We, don't, we don't do that already, but it would be a little different, uh, you know. I don't know. I kind of almost want to watch the American version now and see if how, just how watered down it is. I'm I know, confused. Like, where would they have gone wrong or how would they have gone wrong? I think it's probably like the grudge. The grudge, the original version is, is literally scary. And then you watch the American version. Even my girlfriend Sarah Michelle Geller couldn't really make that movie. I vaguely remember watching it and being literally bored. sixty seconds of that movie are creepy. There's a couple of jump scares bored. and then the very end, the very ending. It, it, that's that's it. That's the only. Oh, that was the only thing. That's so why I think it's probably like that. Whereas I think that I feel like The Ring seems to be the only one. That both versions are really really good. And I think that's just because The Ring's just a great story. But uh, I did I did I did enjoy this. Uh, so uh, rating star rating and and in your pumpkins. I think I gave the movie three stars. And I also gave the pumpkins three because I felt like the elevator scene was scary, but the rest of it was really was very very slow burn. But again, it was a character story, a character journey, I think, and I'm I'm good with that as a character first person. Uh, so I I did like that much of it. And outside of that, I didn't really, really scare much of the movie. I'm not really scared of water, I guess. You know, so where are you at? Oh uh, no, the the gross water and her coming out and pulling your face in. So yeah, I did three for the movie as well. And then I did two for the pumpkins. Two for the pumpkins. So you might be a little more charitable with your pumpkins Man, than I am. I gotta reel it back. This is every I'm every. With my I've been way more. She's scared of the dark, you guys. Man, and I can't believe 100%. this. I can't believe this. Why am I getting more scary meter for her than her this I year? I think you're more generous. Maybe, maybe. I think it's just because what I always say is, when you get older, can you actually really be scared of yes. from a movie or a book? Yes. Okay. Oh, for me, I'm like someone who's been watching, someone who watched The Exorcist 5. No, it probably, probably not. So for me, good horror is if it makes you uncomfortable, if it makes you grip your armchair, makes you clasp your hands. And I feel like, besides, uh, I know what you did last summer, I feel like all these movies have done that. Oh, you yeah. know, they've at least once have maybe be on the edge of my seat a little bit. And with this one, like I said, that sense of dread of realizing what's going on and it doing the slow pan down. Oh, that And finally getting yeah. that reveal 
that was top notch stuff. That's that's. See, and I thought that excellence. was good. And then where you do the flashback to her actually climbing up the cistern and, and looking down in the water and. Be there for your kids, guys. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that one. It's, all right, guys. So that was Dark Water. What do we got next? Do you know what what's next? I think uh, it's Pope's, it Pope's, Exorcist? Pope's Exorcist. Yeah. So obviously, this is the first week. Uh, we always try to get a good jump, so we won't be doing. I don't think we'll be doing four or five movies a week, like we started off with here. But we like to get a good jump on it in case we get busy later on in the month. But say uh, Pope's Exorcist and whenever Salem's Lot comes out, it yeah, gets Salem's Lot. Priority. And I think Brendan said he wants to do The Shining next, which we'll see. We'll see because we're still both less like. I don't think you're going to like The Shining, but we shall find out. You know, maybe we can break it into like parts for him. That sounds like babying him. It's a long movie. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop in the comments. <laughs> let us know what you think about Dark Water, and we will talk to you there. I almost said Dark Matter. <laughs>